I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how to cleanly remove a 3M command hook from a wall. So these are some 3M command hooks that I put over my fireplace to hang stockings. And now say it's the end of the season um, and I want to take these down. Maybe I'm using a 3M command hook for something else in my house, like uh, to hang my keys when I come in the door. They're great for that. They're definitely able to support a large keychain, um, but now I don't want to use it anymore. Or maybe I'm moving out and if it's an apartment or a rental and I want to be able to remove these from the wall. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just remove the hook itself. So you just pull up, take that off. That exposes the adhesive that's on the wall here. And you can see it has this nice little tab down at the bottom. So I'm gonna just slowly, gently pull that up, and I'm just gonna to start to kind of lever that off of the wall. I'm gonna work a little bit underneath. Okay, now I've got that nicely stretched out down here, a little stuck under the plastic. And then I'm literally just going to pull and you have to pull pretty hard. It kind of feels like it's gonna snap like a piece of taffy, but it won't. And then the hook just comes right off. So let's do it with another one along here. I'm gonna take this one, um, just pull this up, and then we just grab it from the bottom, start pulling that gently down. This one did break off there, so let me grab it again. I'm just gonna pull that, gently bring it up. And if it does break, it's not a big deal. Just give it a little bit gentler. And then it'll reach that point where it just pops off the wall. And there we go. You can see there's no damage to the paint underneath. And that's the advantage of the 3M command hooks is that you can hang them up. They're great for stockings, great for hanging small items, but then when you're ready to take them down, there shouldn't be any damage to the paint underneath.